we, we've made reference to various TV shows that I imagine the next generation won't even know what we're talking about. MacGyver, what was that? Well, it was a TV show about a guy who solved all sorts of logistical problems with the most ordinary objects that no one thought could do that. You know, bits of wire, chewing gum wrappers, duct tape, things that you would think were meaningless, and he put them together and did chemistry experiments and all kinds of things. Um, another show that uh, I'm, you know, there are plenty of people now at least who remember, uh, but someday it'll again pass into memory, I guess. Um, designing women. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, and I'm sitting here knowing where I was going with this and suddenly lost my train of thought. Uh, there was an inventive, let's see, inventiveness, diversity. Um, oh, the episode in which one of the women uh, is wrestling with issues about the place of women in the church uh -huh. and is having a really hard time with the men who are leading the church, specific, specific men, not all men in the world, but specific men in the church who are making negative statements about women in position of leadership. And she cites, uh, you know, what she's heard about this or that missionary, uh, dedicated women who were serving their faith in what ways they could understand. And she gets down to this wonderful conf confrontation, conversation, with her minister directly. And he keeps responding, well, I don't think we should question God on this. And I, I wanted to jump up and cheer when she <laughs> responded. Did you, you saw the episode? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. I wanted to jump up and cheer when she responded, I'm not. I'm questioning you. Mm-hmm. That's right. And and yet that's the kind of question that needs to go on so that we remember that by definition, God is beyond human comprehension and God is consequently bigger than all of human theology. Yep. You know, we create theologies and ideas and systems so that we can talk about things. But if it's really worth dedicating our lives to, it's got to be greater than anything we currently know. And and so, you know, to me, it, it's perfectly allowable that people find whatever path will give them an effective human-divine relationship. Absolutely. You know, whether you want to cast a circle or or, or stand in rows or whatever worship configuration, uh, candles, mirrors, I don't care. The point is not what the form is, but what the essence the is, substance. that spiritual communication between you and the mm -hmm. divine, that spiritual relationship by which you can pursue unconditional love and divine wisdom mm -hmm. and, and find yourself in harmony with what's around you. And, you know, as we're talking about volunteers in... Uh, correctional facilities that to understand correctional facilities are not the closet you, you know these are not people not like the skeleton in the closet these are people and people. the correctional facilities may be remotely located but they're very much a part of our society mm -hmm. and in order for them to be a good part we need to create and maintain healthy relationships with the people who live there and the people who work there and to understand that it's not black and white. It's not, these are the bad people and we're the good people. It's that life includes a million shades of gray. And the big thing is we're all people. And we're all people. And there but for the grace of God go I. And regardless of who we are or who they are, we can work together to make something better. And the thing to remember is coming back to our common humanity. Mm -hmm. And, and if all we can agree on is the pursuit of wisdom and unconditional love, everything else will fall into place. Absolutely. We've got about one or two minutes left before we run out of time again. Um, you know, as usual, we have this little half-hour show, and we scratch the surface of so many wonderful things, things that people need to understand in order to be their best, um, and things that I hope the viewers will think about for a long time to come. Is there any last thoughts you'd like to leave us with? I think that volunteering in general is an important aspect of one's own love 
for humanity. And in whatever form that volunteering calls you, listen to the call and go there. You can make a difference. Well, which also speaks to us as a society in creating a life that we can do food, clothing, and shelter and still have time to volunteer. You know, that we keep things within reach because there's always this extra little piece that is so essential to who we are and to the best in our future. And it makes you better to do it, personally. Makes me better, makes you better, makes the whole world better. Absolutely. Thank you for being with us today. Thank you, sister.